What's up everybody? This is Carl from Abundant Living Ecuador and today we are here in beautiful Masaramaca. My mother is here visiting straight out of Canada. We got Soli here and another friend here from Canada. And we are going to have some trout today at the trout restaurant here in Masaramaca. My in-laws are also in town so they are following us behind in a different vehicle. And I just want to show you guys the trout restaurant here, uh, Las Truchas de Curichiro in Masaramaca. They have their own trout ponds, they grow uh, trouts, they have really good food as well right on the river in this beautiful place. So I just thought I would take you along today on this little adventure here in Masaramaca, Ecuador. This is a very common sight here in Ecuador. You have cows crossing the road, We've got some baby cows over here as well. And cows. right here, we are actually right in front of the sign. So we have the Truchas de Curichiro, one kilometer down this lovely little country road. All right, so now we have my in-laws. They're gonna come into our car. So it's a $2 taxi to come all the way here from Lopabamba, which is about a 15 minute drive. Very lovely restaurant. We have ordered our food. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys the views here. Because the views here from the balcony are quite spectacular. As you can see, these are the views of the Masanamaca Valley. Beautiful day today. Right here on the property, there is a volleyball court down below. There is also a little kids playground down there. There you go, right here. And there's some trout ponds down there, which we can go explore afterwards or beforehand. And um, the river is down in here. So you got this, there you go. See it a little bit all the way down there and see the river. So this is a very clean, very pristine river coming from, you see coming from the Porto Carpus National Park at the back there. Clean water, water clean enough to drink. You can literally drink directly from the river here in Masaramaca. And a really nice area actually. There are not a lot of properties for sale here. It seems like they've all been sold already. A lot of expats live out here in Masaramaca. There's a neighborhood watch. You might've noticed some signs on the way here. So people are very united in this neighborhood against uh, crime, etc. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. And the family's enjoying uh, coming here. And then we have some uh, some drinks as well. So let me show you guys. As you can see, you can have some white wine. There's a variety of imported beers and the famous club, Ecuadorian made. Oh, oh, we are getting Are you enjoying your chicha, Ali? Yeah. What does it taste like? It tastes like milk. It just tastes like milk? Kind of like coconut? Uh, it tastes like coconut milk. This is the trout filet. Comes with a little salad, comes with rice, patacones, a little salad there as well. All right, and here you have the ahi, which is a little hot sauce made out of tree tomatoes and onions and other things. Buen provecho. How's the chicha? It's great. Yeah? What do you think it's made out of? Um, coconut. What do you mean milk. coconut? Like coconut meat or coconut milk? Coconut. Or coconut flavoring? I don't know. Coconut milk? But it doesn't yeah, make so sense of it. It's coconut milk, so... Could be a mix of both, but it seems to me like it would there would be some milk in there. Like cow's and milk? Oats. oats. Okay. So you think there's coconut, oats, and milk? Uh, I'm not thinking. The owner told me. Oh yeah? Well, we'll ask the owner and see what, what, what they make this out of. Because you know in the jungle and in the Amazon, they make chicha out of fermented cassava that they first chew and spit. Cassava is yuca. All right, so once again, we have the full meal here. This is a $7 meal. So this here is the ahi. This is a hot sauce that is commonly made in this area. Ahi casero is a different way that they call it. It's homemade ahi. Ahi is the hot pepper. Uh, and there's tree tomatoes in here, which is a a fruit that grows here. It's not a tomato. It's not even in the tomato family. They call them tomates de arbol. And then as you can see, there's some onions as well, some cilantro, probably a little bit of lemon salt. It's a little bit of a spicy sauce, but it's not too spicy at all. It's very mild it's very and, very, and very delicious. Even my 10 year old son enjoys it. All right, this was a delicious, delicious meal. Very satisfied and sated. <laughs> And we're gonna go now to a little river walk. There's a little hiking trail right here. It can take us to the river. So 
as you can see, it's really nice. Right next to the trout farm, there's a clean river and you can go for a little swim after you enjoy a meal here at the trout restaurant. The food is really good, feels very healthy as well. Uh, you know, not, not too fried or anything like that and just uh, very natural ingredients. We're very lucky. We're very lucky and blessed to have this. We can come here any weekend out of the year, drive to the trout restaurant, 15 minutes drive from Vilcabamba. There's a couple other trout restaurants actually as well. Similar concept, there's one in Sacapo out in San Pedro. There's another one in Yamburara Alto in Vilcabamba. But there's, this is probably the best one, I would say, in Masanamaca. A little further out, not too far, of course. The food's really good. There's a large boulder here. Somebody put colorful hands decorated. I'm being asked to throw this big piece of wood into the river. Go all the way down. Okay, Carl, get that into the river. Throw! <laughs> that was awesome. There's my lovely wife. What a lucky man I am. And there's my mother. Mom, what did you think of the food? Was it nice? Very nice. Very good. Yeah? Very tasty. <laughs> and the price is uh, so... Uh, affordable? Affordable, yeah. For sure. $7 for a meal? Yes, $7 for a meal and $12 for a bottle of wine. Of white $12 wine. for a bottle of white wine. That was a good deal as well. Yeah, because at our place it's uh, about $20, $25 uh, dollar for a bottle of wine. Yeah, in Canada, much more expensive, of course, Canada, Quebec, where my mother, where I'm from, actually. But I've decided to move here 12 years ago. Now I've been living here in Ecuador for 12 whole years because, of course, I like it. <laughs> uh, Canada's nice in the summertime. The winters are quite harsh, and uh, but we like it here in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Honey, you want to tell us about your experience here today at the trout restaurant in Masaramaca? It's the best trout restaurant in Vilcabamba. Yeah, you think so? Other than Chantas. <laughs> I think... I think the volume's probably not good because the river's so loud. Here, you want to come closer? Yeah, you like the food? What else? What else do you like about this place? Um, to be honest, we have a lot of history in this valley, so I just love this valley. I think anybody would love it, but we, we used to live in this valley, and it's especially special. It is a nice, it is a nice valley. Lots of nature. Lots of memories, too. And Lots of memories. Every time we come, we make more memories with our family. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for joining us today on this tour of the Truchas de Curichiro. We hope to see you here one day. So until then, see you next time. <laughs> see you next time. If you're interested in real estate properties, all of our property videos will now be uploaded on a different channel. Please click the link in the description down below.